Baidu is going to operate 3,000 driverless Apollo Go robot taxis in 30 cities in three years. When it comes to robot taxis, you probably have heard about Tesla robot taxis or Vimo because Elon Musk has envisaged a robot taxi network with vehicles that can park and plug in themselves using Tesla's self driving technology. Or you may have heard of Vimo One, but Baidu Apollo Go robot taxis have already registered over 6.2 million miles of level 4 autonomous driving and plan to operate 3,000 driverless Apollo Go robot taxis in 30 cities within the next three years. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up and like this video if you find it helpful and informative. So the Chinese search engine giant Baidu began on Sunday, May 2nd, offering the first rides to commercial customers in its self-driving robot taxis known as Apollo Go. The service has been open to the public as a pilot since last October, but on May 2, it was the first time that drivers had to pay to benefit from it. Baidu is one of the largest tech companies in China. The company is often compared to Google because it operates in similar areas, particularly its search engine. Baidu operates the second largest search engine after Google in the world and is one of the leading AI companies in the world. In the field of autonomous driving, the group has been drawing attention to itself since 2017 with its own platform, Apollo. According to the company, the self-driving vehicles are said to have transported more than 210,000 passengers. In February 2021, Baidu started a large test run with 40 autonomous vehicles in the metropolis of Guangzhou. Since the 2000, late 2020, Baidu has been conducting autonomous test drives in Beijing without safety drivers. They were only connected to a command center via the city's 5G network. The commercial robot taxi service that is now starting also does, um, starting also does not require human supervision behind the wheel. Until further notice, however, a human supervisor will be present in the passenger seat during passenger journeys. They are not allowed to touch the steering wheel. However, Baidu is taking this precaution to ensure passengers feel comfortable because some of our passengers are scared with no one in the vehicles. Up to 10 Apollo Go taxi simultaneously drive in an area of around 1.1 square mile in Shenguang Park in western Beijing. There are eight fixed stops at which people can get on after booking a ride via the app. Formerly an industrial park in Beijing's fringes, uh, Shugang Park is being transformed now into a center of sport and culture ahead of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. The traffic volume is rather low, but Shugang Park, park is currently of particular interest to tourists. Thus, this part is a great location for Baidu to test and operate its robot taxis. Friends, Baidu charges 30 yuan per trip, which is about $5. But Baidu representative told Tork News that the company offers vouchers, so the robotaxi ride is bundled with other tickets because the park has several tourist attractions. There is also an age limit. You have to be between 18 and 60 years old to take a robotaxi in Beijing. Boarding passengers verify themselves via their smartphone and thereby unlock the door at the same time. In order to unlock Baidu's self-driving vehicles, the customer must also use a health code on the car for pandemic prevention purposes. Once you enter the Apollo Go Robot Taxi, click on the Start the Journey button to begin your trip. Once you do that, the system will make all the safety checks, like making sure uh, the seat belt is fastened and the doors are properly closed, only after that start the journey. In, order, in other words, as soon as the system detects that the seat belt has been fastened, the journey begins. 
Baidu Oppo logo currently uses the FAW Honki uh, electric vehicles, namely the Honki EHS3 electric subcontact luxury SUV. The body style of the EHS3 is a five door station wagon. It comes with a 52.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. The Honki EHS3 SUV gets about 252 miles of range per single charge. China has already approved limited level 4 robo taxis. No car maker in China has a level 4 vehicle. It is the self driving software. This means if an accident happened, Baidu Apollo is responsible. Baidu Apollo's self driving software is a level 4 software, but uh, limited in limited scope. This means it can operate only in specific places under regulatory approvals. What I mean is Apollo is a singly, a highly generalized L level 4, L4 software that can drive everywhere, but its operation is limited by local regulations. Uh, a Baidu representative who helped to provide resources for this report explained to Tork News. Now, how Baidu got this far close to level 4? Well, first you apply for a qualification to test the vehicle in the city. This means you don't need a driver to test on city roads. After you are approved and, and successfully test your level 4 software in a vehicle, you as a company can apply in China for a permit to operate self-driving robot taxis in the city. Baidu is China's first company to operate robot taxis without safety drivers in it. Did you know that? Now, when it opened on May 2nd, two weeks ago, it was the Labor Day weekend in China and a lot of people were on the streets. The Apollo Go robot taxi was well received, um, uh, told me the Baidu representative. People were carried from point A to point B in Beijing's Shogong Park. The Apollo Go has already achieved over 6 million miles of level 4 autonomous driving. The majority out of this 6 million level 4 driving was with safety drivers in the vehicle. Now Baidu Apollo Go has already acquired a permit to test driverless robot taxis in California as well as three cities in China and plans 3,000 level 4 robot taxis operating in 30 cities in the next three years. In fact, Tesla has been successfully testing its own, testing its own full self-driving FSD software since late 2020. Tesla's FSD is not level 4 yet officially, but Tesla's uh, announcement does point to future robot taxis. Now, and when it comes to autonomous driving, there is also, friends, competition for Baidu in Beijing. Um, for example, Baidu also has a competition coming. One of them is Jidu Auto, an electric vehicle company between Baidu and Chinese automaker Geely, um, which and this company plans to spend 50 billion yuan, that is 7.7 .7 billion US dollars, to make smart cars over the next five years. Reuters reported about a month ago. Another company in Beijing, Baidu, will soon be competing with Pony.ai. This startup for autonomous driving is largely financed by the Japanese auto company Toyota and recently received a further US $100 million in a Series C financing round. Now, Pony.ai wants to enable commercial passenger journeys in the capital as soon as possible. Similar to Baidu, they should be able to be ordered via their own app. The robot taxis for Beijing will also be equipped with Pony.ai's latest AI system, Pony Alpha X. Test drives on public roads are currently taking place in Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. As you see, friends, uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou are becoming top destinations for uh, robot taxis, as well as some cities uh, in the United States. But Baidu is coming to the United States also. They have some type of permits, like I mentioned, in, in California. Uh, the next company competing with Baidu is AutoX. AutoX, backed by, uh, backed by Alibaba, announced earlier this year that it had started offering paid driverless rides to public users in Shenzhen. And Chinese autonomous driving startup 
startup WeRide, back, backed by Nissan, is also testing driverless vehicles in the country. So you see Toyota, Nissan, and some Japanese companies, as well as Tesla and so on, are uh, heavily involved in autonomous driving. This points to the importance of autonomous self-driving in the future. I think Baidu has very interesting system set up already, as you can see from this video. Well, let me know what you think. Do you think the driver license in the future will be obsolete? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Give us thumbs up, please, if you found this report being informative. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. See you soon.